after lunch, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And ja Jasper's got an idea for lunch this Monday. Yeah, he's in the kitchen, you see there, uh, <laughs> with his favorite Italian veggie. And uh, Jasper, whatever you have in your hand there, it is big. <laughs> I'm so upset. Look, my gagutsa broke on the way here today. So this was a beauty. My friends, the Aminos, they gave me this gagutsa, but that's okay. We're going to cook. Uh, I have several more I brought to, um, to the NBC uh, studio kitchen today to cook. What a great vegetable. And what I like about this, you could probably make this dish in the summertime uh, in about maybe a half an hour or so. It's such a tradition with Sicilians and Italians, especially in the Kansas City area. My friends down in uh, New Orleans, they they call this a uh, Sicilian red gravy. How about that? And you know what? I start off with a little bit of olive oil. We'll put some of that in here. And then we have the gagutsa. Now, I get the gagutsa. I'll add that in a second. But what you need to do, I have it in several different uh, uh, sections here. First of all, you need to just clean the gagutsa. So you break it and you just slice it right this and take off all the outer skin because it's pretty tough. And then you're going to have these seeds in the middle right here. So you get a spoon and just take those seeds out. It's not difficult at all, maybe two or three minutes. And um, when you finish that, then you actually saute it in a little bit of olive oil. I would say, you know, maybe four, five, six minutes. It depends because... Every gagutsa is different, believe it or not. So some are a little tougher, some are a little thinner, some are a little softer. You never know. Let's just start that going right there. Now, I like to add to this a little bit of onion. As that's sautéing, I'll come back and I'll add more garlic to that. So that will take another, you know, five or six minutes. You don't want to burn the onion. You want to kind of let them translucent. These are a little smaller, so I would probably say when they're smaller like that, they'll cook a lot quicker. They're a little more tender, and that's what you want. Now, something different, and this is really special. I just started doing this this year. I add, and this is an old, another Italian tradition, but my family never did this. I add either ground sausage or ground hamburger to the gagutsa while it's sautéing. A little bit of red pepper, a little bit of salt, a touch of sugar because sometimes the gagutsa, they could be a little, uh, a little bitter, but then you want to come back with a little bit of salt, so you have to balance things off. I have some San Marzano tomatoes here, and you add that to your mixer while it's cooking. Here we are with the mixer right now. This has been sautéing about 20 minutes with the hamburger already in it, so it doesn't take long at all. I add my tomatoes to that, and oh my gosh, once this starts cooking down, I have this whole studio smelling right now like a Sicilian kitchen. I may want to add a little bit of wine to that. That's up to you also. Some people like a little red wine. Some people like a little white wine. A little cracked pepper, and of course, a little red pepper. I also told you that I love basil, so let's just add a little bit of fresh basil in this. You mix it with your pasta. Gagutsa has a long history with the Sicilians. It's really told that they planted this after St. Joseph Day during the famine in Italy, and they prayed to St. Joseph, the Sicilians, and that's how there was an abundance of Gagutsa. It came to America every July and August. It's a tradition. There's even a, uh, a known fact in Kansas City that my father was not with my mom when she was having me as a, uh, as a baby. Uh, he was out eating gagutsa at his mom's house. So I don't know. That's just a story that still goes around my house. Every July, we have to hear that about my dad eating the gagutsa. We add a little bit of pasta to this, and you have a great dish. Pasta with the gagutsa. It's Sicilian style. It's great for the summer. There's an abundance of it in Kansas City right now. If you have a Sicilian friend or someone you know who's cooking pasta, who likes uh, gagutsa, tell them about it. I have it at the restaurant also. Summertime gagutsa. Louis Prima has a great song. It's called my Gagutsa. See if you can get on the uh, on the uh, uh, computer and download it. It's a funny song. Enjoy a Gagutsa summer. I, I just learned how to pronounce it. Gagutsa. Gagutsa. It sounds Gagutsa. like a greeting. It's or Italian something. squash. We like to say Gagutsa. Yeah. Uh, right. Did you say your dad wasn't there for your birth because yeah, he was eating there's, Gagutsa? There's some conflicting stories. Maybe he was late to the hospital, but my grandma uh -huh. was cooking the Gagutsa. So. Um, you know, I don't know. Are you I don't bitter know. about it? I'm sorry? Are you bitter about it? No, I love Gagutsa. There's nothing bitter about that. <laughs> I love it. All right. All right thanks, thanks, buddy. Jasper.